Uh, the people at McLaren, oh, hands down, the customer service. Oh, they put mahogany in mine. They give me a matching helmet because they know how I drive. <laughs> You wanna to go to Paris right now? Yes, we'll go right now. I can use the points on my American Express black card. I have several patents pending right now. I spend years in the Congo. You know, you'd be surprised. Those gorillas, they are very lovable. Renaissance, that's just the French word for rebirth. Look, there's plenty of people out there that view the Renaissance as the first two to three centuries of a larger era in European history, modern Europe. It began in the late 15th century all the way up until the eve of the French Revolution in 1789. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of $20 Chef. Today, we're gonna be extremely smart. We're gonna step up our bar skill set, we're gonna become intelligent, and we're making old fashions. One of my favorite bartending jobs I ever had was the townhouse in Venice Beach on Windward Circle. It's like the oldest bar in LA. There's tunnels that lead to the ocean. That's where they used to put, you know, that's how they used to ship in all the whiskey during Prohibition. Uh, and there's a gentleman that works there in the afternoons. He goes by the name of George, the most class act bartender you've ever met in your life. It's a flashback in time. George has worked there probably 30 plus years, maybe 40 years. And every time I sat in front of George at his bar, I had an old fashioned. It's just what you did. And George motivated me. I mean, this guy made the best old fashioned you ever tried in your life and it stayed with me. So that's one of my favorite go-to drinks here and there in certain situations. Especially when I'm talking about the Renaissance period and things like that, really important stuff that I don't usually talk about on this show because it's too smart and I gotta come off as more dumb because if I'm too smart on this show, then, then everybody's gonna be like, wow, this guy's full of shit. He's way smarter than he looks. But guess what? I am that dumb, but am I? Or am I just smart enough to make you think that I'm that dumb? All right, this is where your bar tools are coming into play, okay? You're making cocktails, you need the tools, you need a muddler. All an old fashioned is is this. It's a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of white sugar. You don't need both, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, you're gonna muddle that together with some bitters. I'm gonna put a little water in there, throw in some whiskey, a little citrus rind, cool ass ice cubes, and that's it. All right, so this is our cocktail. We're gonna come in here first with the sugar. This is what I have, a little brown sugar, a little bit of regular sugar, a little bit of bitters, a little bit of water, just a little bit. And then we're coming in hot with our whiskey. Hit them with an eight count. Muddle it up. Trying to get all that sugar mashed in there. Wait, well, I'm gonna put some ice in there. I'll stir it up. I don't know the exact science. I mean, I know that I'm supposed to put the ice in here, stir it up before I pour it in. You know, maybe I'm just trying to let the sugars and shit hang out with each other, come together a little bourbon or something. Wham, that's for the homies. Right to this, not even close. Okay, let's go ahead and get our orange ready. You could be a little bitch and do this if you want. You can go like that, and then you can do this. That's what they do at Applebee's. If you wanna be that guy, you go right ahead. If you wanna be a triple OG though, right from the orange, right here on top. Just right along the way there. Wham, get the sticker off there. All right, now you gotta come in with the sweet ice cubes. On this one, I'm going balls. Wham, in she goes there. Got our glass here, nice and shaken, nice and stirred. Pour it right in. Get your little twist right there. Wham, someone's getting lit tonight. You know, you could also, if you're feeling it, boom, do lemon too. And there it is. This is the kind of drink that'll make you do brave shit. One time I remember, I had my buddy's car, and it was a 1996 Honda Accord. We were banging from Yuma. It's a 25 minute drive, you do like 90, to Mexico. We were getting shit canned. I was drinking one of these, probably. This is what happens when you drink this shit. Make sure you ain't driving. And this other dumb fuck in the back seat, he said he had a, he knew a shortcut. We've been going to Mexico for years. He said he knew a shortcut. I'm like, man, I don't know. I don't think so. He's like, no, no, make it right here. Let's go. So we're hauling ass, radios bumping, Tupac, probably off that double CD, All Eyes on Me. All of a sudden, the street just went away, and it was just dirt. So then I'm like, and the car's going this way and that way. And then all of a sudden there's like a big pile of rocks and dirt and sticks. Wham! We fucking nailed it. I get out of the car and the whole side of the Honda Accord. It's just fucked up. Piece of shit made me end up losing that car. But uh, what happened was everybody just rallied, bro. We were like, well, we're this far. I'm not gonna fix the car now. So we just took off and still went to Mexico. We even had the balls to drive into Mexico and drive around to the clubs, man. I'll tell you what, just be careful. If you're drinking old fashions, don't be driving. And that's this episode of Twenty Dollar Chef, guys. Go get a little whiskey. Go cut off some orange peel. You know what I mean. Put a little sugar, little bitters. Get some cool ice cube trays. And next thing you know, you're a powerful elite human being. No one knows you're a broke asshole working at a corporate restaurant, living in one of those apartment complexes that ends with village or manor or something like that. You know what I mean. No one knows that you have a spare donut on your Honda Civic for three months. No one knows that because you're drinking old fashions. That's this episode of Twenty Dollar Chef. See you guys next time. No, I'm I'm getting into the blimp game. No one's doing the blimps. We're gonna do a blimp.
I, I'm actually partnering. Oh, look, it's Richard Branson. I'm partnering with him on the blimp game. Hey, what's up, Richard? <laughs>